ho vissuto a Pietra Santa da 81 fino a 85 e dopo di che ho inventato questa scuola di marmo e così fino al 2014. I lived in Pietra Santa with my daughter from 1981 to 1985 and then I started doing workshops there in stone carving. Motivation being to go back there and be in the town I love so much. For many years now I've been doing a series of uh, bronze and also marble legs and they're strictly legs and they're hollow and they're all guardian angels. These legs, these hollow legs, they are mm, spirits, angels that are either appearing or disappearing and they're encrusted with the forest, uh, leaves, vegetation. So in the marble legs, uh, they're encrusted with, with feathers, and often they become wings. There's vegetation from the forest, and on some of them there are actual sea and land snails covering part of the body. My sculpture named One World uh, is a turtle with the map of the world on its back. The turtle is a universal symbol of the heavens and the earth and the underworld. In essence, we are one world. I started offering uh, marble carving workshops in Pietra Santa in 1985 when my daughter and I came back from living in that town for four years. Initially I worked with two Italian partners uh, and then I launched out on my own and started inviting various local artisans to work with me. And I was able to really offer a genuine experience for people when I worked with these amazing, amazing men who had been working in stone since they were children. Over the 29 years that I did workshops in Pietra Santa in the summer, I had hundreds of wonderful people that worked with us from all around the world. Lots of people from the United States, Canada, Mexico, Colombia, uh, Zimbabwe, Nigeria, Japan. Uh, France, England, Germany. Oh, it, it was an amazing experience. I even had a couple of young people from Italy that I was able to give a special discount to. Some of these marble artisans are actually in the uh, Coro Versilia that you hear as a soundtrack and uh, they have beautiful angelic voices when they're not carving stone. <laughs> Thank you.
And with the bronze legs, I've included uh, straight pins and other sharp metal objects. Put in actually small rosebuds and rose flowers. My sculpture Bacchus was a, is a private commission that uh, um, a man from Texas ordered back in uh, 2001. And uh, Bacchus is the Roman god of wine and revelry and actually also a symbol of immortality. When I started planning the Bacchus sculpture, um, I thought to make the Bacchus face resemble my, uh, my client, Hayden, and uh, he, I think he liked that, actually. And then I wanted to put him onto the back of a turtle with the map of the world on its shell. And then I put a business tie flying to the wind, made it, um, uh, give it a humorous touch. You look closely at the details of the Bacchus uh, in his crown and um, in various places on, around, his, uh, around the grape clusters. It's encrusted with pine cones, little pine cones, and with snails. The pine cones are a symbol for immortality. If you look in the back behind him, he's holding his magic wand called the Thyrsus in Greek. It has a green pine cone at the top, which is the symbol of immortality. Sure, named One World uh, is a turtle with the map of the world on its back. The turtle is a universal symbol of the heavens and the earth and the underworld. In essence, we are One World. La mia scultura chiamata One World, un mondo, è universale per il simbolo del cielo, de, del mondo, de, della vita e poi uh, siamo soltanto un mondo.